So welcome to Pixel 2022, where the title of yesterday's festival is III. Um, I have Mikhail with me now, and we're going to talk about this tea stick of yours. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you got it with you. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about your project at this year's festival. Um, the, the project actually originated uh, a little before the pandemic. Mm -hmm. um, I was invited by IDMEL, which is mm -hmm. the Inter-University uh, Center for Music uh, Technology. Mm -hmm. Some, I, I can't remember what the acronym stands for. But anyways, they're based in Montreal at McGill University. And they develop uh, musical interfaces, among other things. And that's mm -hmm. one of the things that really interests them is uh, developing new approaches to, you know, for, for music expression. Mm -hmm. And the T-Stick is one of the instruments uh, that they've developed, which is actually a controller that's now over, it, it has over 10 years of experience. So, so they keep improving this uh, and developing it further. And in 2019, uh, at the beginning of 2019, they made a call for composers workshop and to, to select some composers to uh, write some music for the for the the newest the most recent version of of the t-stick and so i got involved with with that and started developing um uh, this piece with them which was performed live uh in 2019 uh in february and then and then of course you know you know the the world history has changed <laughs> in, in in different ways Just and so <laughs> And uh, and so the the piece I, I actually got to perform it at Linux Audio Conference uh, as well in a different format because it was all remote. So it was once performed on stage, then uh, completely remotely. And and I thought that it would be nice to to take this piece, you know, and and show it in other places. And so I will again be able to perform it uh, live in front of a physical audience or uh, on a real stage. Yeah, it's going to be fantastic. I hope you've got yeah. some rain clothes, though. Yeah, I have some rain clothes, yeah. <laughs> OK, good, good. Yeah. So, I, do I need to bring sh uh, snowshoes as well? Um, no, it's just going to no. be raining. Okay. And maybe you might slip on some leaves, but not some snow at this oh, time. Oh, that's OK. I'm, I'm used to that. That's the you know Canadian weather. <laughs> <laughs> so how has your life changed in the last 12 months? Um, it, it has. I'm not sure how much. Well, it changed a little bit, of course, because everybody's life has changed. Um, so um, professionally, uh, I mean, I kept doing what I'm doing, uh, except that uh, there was a little bit of remote work involved and then and then hybrid. But what was interesting was that uh, my uh, artistic activities have exploded over the, the two years of the of the pandemic, and. Uh, before, even even way before pandemic, I was involved with different uh, telepresence projects, and uh, and so I've done a little bit of online collaborations with people and uh, um, and performances that are distributed. We were uh, some of us were very interested in in doing like kind of distributed art uh, performance, audiovisual, and other things. In fact. Um, and then the, the pandemic uh, brought back a, a festival in England called Network Music Festival, which, mm -hmm. which, was, um, which was discontinued after about, I think the last installment was in 2014, and they didn't have funding and they couldn't continue this. And with the pandemic, they actually got some funding. And with some friends uh, with whom we have participated before in, uh, in Network Music Festival, we've proposed uh, uh, a, a piece and and that really like exploded and then we we toured with this piece many different festivals and so the the two years of the pandemic were uh like a lot of uh, a lot of things going on in uh, i toured the world from my from my living room basically <laughs> and then uh, and then that also sparked some new connections i've met some people online with with whom i started collaborating and so so it really just uh, completely exploded in terms of like artistic uh, activity, it, it's kind of strange. I'm probably one of the few people who uh, who 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 experience the kind of a positive uh, 
uh, impact from the pandemic. Oh, that's fantastic. And uh, can you pronounce for me the name of your work this year? Because I was having trouble with the title. And how did you come up with the, the name of your project? Yeah, so uh, it's called Mimoidal Nob. Mm -hmm. It's a kind of a, it's an invent, in, invented word. And it, it, in fact, um, uh, it refers to, in, in some way, uh, one part of this world, uh, which is the, the Mimoidal, uh, uh, refers to a work by, uh, by a Polish writer, uh, Stanisław Lem, um, who's, who's famous for Solaris. And, and that word actually comes from, from Solaris. Uh, he described uh, some some things, cloud-like things on uh, uh, on the planet where Solaris is taking place. Uh, he called them mimoidals, and so I just you know built on that on that word. Mm, that's fantastic. And after you come to Pixel, have you got any other plans that you're going to do for the remainder of the year or early next year? Uh, yes, so uh, Pixel will start a, a, a mini mini visit of, of Europe for me. Um, and so I, I live in Canada, but I'm originally from Poland. So uh, when, when some projects take me uh, to Europe, I take advantage to uh, visit with some friends and family. And I will be also presenting uh, some work and doing a workshop in Lübeck at the Technical University. Uh, in Germany, and I spent some time in Poland. Uh, there was also audio art festival in Poland that I will visit, but I will not play there because I was too late to actually be enrolled in the program um, and and meet with some people. And then um, uh, I will continue working with my with my uh, band, which uh, which is called Red Spills, and we uh, we actually are concentrated on using you know digital musical instruments. Uh, in a distributed way, because uh, one of the members, Dirk Stromberg, he lives in Singapore, I live in Montreal, and DeAndre Stewart, uh, another partner, he lives in Alberta in Canada. So it's this kind of distributed uh, uh, performance thing and we'll be probably doing some festivals and some playing. So these are the, the projects that are uh, that are being planned for this year. Fabulous. So looking forward to meeting you at the festival. Thanks for looking the video interview to today. Yeah, and I will say do vidinya for now. Do vidinya. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Take care. See you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.